Hello friends, this video on water part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So here comes a very interesting question that we saw that so much of water vapor gets released to the atmosphere. Some by transpiration from plants, some by evaporation of water. But what happens to all these water vapor that gets collected in the atmosphere? So these water vapor results in the formation of clouds. Yes. That's interesting, right? So let us now try to understand that how clouds are formed. So the first question that we need to answer is, is it possible to convert the water vapor in the air back into liquid water? Yes, it is very much possible. And in fact, that is what that happens during rainfall. What is rainfall? The clouds get converted into liquid water and clouds are nothing but water vapor. I will give you an example from our day to day life which will prove that this is very much possible. Take out a chilled glass of water from the refrigerator. Remember, you have to take out a chilled glass of water and then you keep it on the table. After some time what happens? You see droplets of water on the outer surface of the glass. So why do you see those water droplets? Because this was, in fact, you can also prefer to take, uh, take out this glass of water which was kept in the freezer of your refrigerator so that the water has already been converted into ice. So when you bring that ice cold water glass in the normal temperature, what happens is liquid water droplets are seen on the outer surface. So what are those liquid water droplets? Because the ice or the cold water, everything is inside the glass. So how do we get liquid water droplets on the outer surface of the glass? So that's the question. So what happens is the air which is present surrounding the gas. So this air is hot when compared to the temperature of the glass because the glass was at a very cold temperature. So when you bring it out of the refrigerator, still the glass is at a very low temperature but the surrounding air is at a higher temperature, right? Now, what do you have in the surrounding air? In the surrounding air, water vapor is present. So, this water vapor, due to this low temperature, now, like how when we heat liquid water, it gets converted into water vapor. In a similar way, when you cool water vapor, it gets converted to liquid water. So when you cool water vapor, it gets converted to liquid water and this process is called condensation. So condensation is the reverse process of evaporation. So in this case, what happens? You have water vapor in the surrounding air. So those water vapor due to this cold temperature gets cooled and that gets converted to liquid water which is seen as droplets on the outer surface of the glass. So this experiment proves that it is possible to convert water vapor in the air into liquid water. But how is that possible? By cooling. So these droplets of water were a result of condensation. So using a similar concept, we will also understand the process of formation of clouds. Before that, what is condensation? It is the process in which water vapor is cooled to get converted into liquid water. So, to get liquid water from water vapor. So, that is called condensation. So, you can see this and see, you can experience this in a lot of other examples also. For example, let's say you are cooking something. So, when you cook something, what happens? If you are heating that um, substance. So, a lot of water vapor is formed. And suddenly you take a cold lead and you cover that vessel with that cold lead. What happens? You see a lot of droplets of water on the surface of that lead. So that is nothing but the water vapor which was initially at a higher temperature. When you took that lead in front of them, so the water vapor got exposed to a lower temperature because the lead was at a lower temperature. So as a result, it got condensed to form liquid water droplets and they were seen as the water droplets on the surface of the lead. So this is another example. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.